Hi, it's Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Maxwell Find a Friend for 1986. So let's get started. Maxwell House was in a tree. It was a very nice house. And it was very big. It had lots and lots of room. Maxwell likes lemon in a big roomy house. He likes lemon in a tree. Max was a bird. What kind of bird was he? He was a very special bird. He was a bird who likes to talk. Maxwell was a bird likes to talk and talk. But Maxwell though could not talk and talk. He had no one to talk to. Maxwell lived alone in his big roomy house. Poor Maxwell. Living alone was no fun. It was no fun for a bird who likes to talk. What could Maxwell do? He tried talking to himself. Hello, Maxwell, he said to himself. Hello, Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. But talking to himself was no fun. I do not like living alone, Maxwell said. I want someone to talk to. My house is, a, is very big and roomy. I will get someone to live with me. A roommate is what I will get. Maxwell fought about a roommate. He fought and fought. What kind of roommate should he get? A big roommate? A nice roommate? I want a special roommate, said Maxwell. I want a roommate who likes to talk. Maxwell went out. He flew away. He went to look for a special roommate. Maxwell fl flew here. Maxwell flew there. He looked and looked for a roommate. There is someone, cried Maxwell. Well, that someone be my special roommate. The someone was a worm. Maxwell landed near the worm. Hello, said the I am looking for a roommate. My name is Maxwell. What is your name? The worm saw the he shook from head to toe. The worm was afraid of Maxwell. He was too afraid to talk. Yip cried the worm. Yip said Max. Yip, what kind of name is Yip? What a funny name for a worm. What a funny name for a roommate. The poor worm, he was very afraid. He could not talk. He just shook and shook. I am sorry, said Maxwell. My roommate must be very special. You would not be a good roommate. Your name is funny, and you do not like to talk. Away Maxwell flew. Maxwell flew to the lake. He saw a big buffalo. The buffalo was near the lake. Maxwell thought, would he be a good roommate? Down Maxwell went. He landed on the buffalo head. Hello, said the. I live in a nice tree. Would you like to be my roommate? The buffalo did not want to live in a tree. He did not want a roommate, and he especially did not want a bird on his head. Snort, said the buffalo. Snort, snort. Snort, said Maxwell. What kind of talk is snort? Does snort mean yes? Does snort mean no? What does snort mean? Snort mean go away, bird. The big buffalo shook its head. Oh no, cried Max, though. Into the lake, the bird went flash. What a wet lake. What a wet bird. P poor, poor Maxwell. He did not like being wet. He did not like the big buffalo. I am very wet, and he is not, and he is not sorry, Maxwell said. The buffalo is not a good roommate for me. Splash, splash, splash. A big fish was in the lake. The bird was near Max. The fish was near Maxwell. The big fish saw Maxwell. Maxwell saw the fish. A fish for a roommate, thought Maxwell. Why not, Maxwell said. Hello, fish. I am Maxwell. What is your name? Gub, 
said the fish. Maxwell looked at the fish. Gub? Maxwell said, what a funny name. I am sorry, fish. A fish named Gub would not be a good roommate. Flash, the fish went away. Maxwell went away, too. He splashed out of the lake. Poor Maxwell. He was wet and lonely. He went. He wanted a roommate to talk to. Maxwell did not like Yipe the worm. He did not like Gub the fish. He did not like the big buffalo. Where was that special roommate? Maxwell saw an owl. Wait, Maxwell saw a tree. In the tree was an owl. An owl could be a special someone, said Maxwell. A bird would be a good roommate. I will talk to the owl. Hi, owl, said Maxwell. I am Maxwell, the bird. What is your name? Who, said the owl. You, said Maxwell. Who, wait, what is your name? Who, cried the bird, the owl. Who, 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 you, cried Maxwell. You, you, you. What did the owl say then? He said who? The bird shook his head. Sorry, owl, said Maxwell. I cannot talk to you. Talking to an owl is not fun. You would not be a good roommate. Maxwell went away. He went on looking. He looked and looked. Then the bird saw someone. He saw a lion. It was a big hungry lion. It was a lion who liked birds. Maxwell did not know the lion was hungry. Poor, poor Maxwell. Maxwell went up to the hungry lion. Hello, lion, said Maxwell. Would you like to live in a roomy house? Would you like to live in a tree? What do you think of me? The lion did not want a roommate. No, they did not want a roomy house. He did not want to live in a tree. He was hungry. The lion wanted Maxwell. What did he think of the bird? Yum, said the lion. Yum, said Maxwell. Yum, what does that mean? Then the bird saw the lion hungry look. Maxwell shook. He shook from head to toe. He was very afraid. Oh no, Maxwell cried. I know what yum means. Away he flew from the hungry lion. M Maxwell flew and flew as quickly as he could. He did not look where he was flying. Crash. Maxwell flew right into a bird. It was Peter Parrot. Crash. Down went Maxwell. Crash down went Peter Parrot. Sorry I crashed into you, said Maxwell. I would not look. And I am Maxwell, Peter said. I am sorry too. I am Peter Parrot. I did not see you. I was looking for a roomy house to live in. A roomy house, cried Maxwell. I have a nice big house with lots of room. Do you like to talk? Would you like to be my roommate? I love, I like to talk, said Peter. Parrot like to talk and talk. I would like to be your roommate. Maxwell cried, you are the special someone. What a good roommate you will be. And what, and what good roommate Maxwell and Peter was. So that was Maxwell Find a Friend from 1986. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, have a good day with another video coming out real soon.